A Lynn man is under arrest tonight after police say he struck and killed a pedestrian and then drove away. That pedestrian was killed in Boston, but a good Samaritan who saw it followed the suspect. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. It ended in Lynn, where the suspect parked at an apartment complex, and the Good Samaritan summoned state police. Here's WBZ's Brandon Truitt. Soro is known for its pedestrian overpasses. This crash happened just feet away from one. Police are trying to figure out why a man was walking on this part of the road in the first place. It was just after one Saturday morning, calls were coming in about a man walking on Storo Drive. Storo eastbound right before the exit to the Tobin. No more than five minutes later, he was hit. By Saturday afternoon, you could still see the police markings in the far left lane. State police say it was a silver Honda Accord that struck and killed 22-year-old Brandon Jennings of Marlboro, but the car kept going. Police say a witness tailed the suspect from Boston to Lynn, keeping 911 on the line along the way. It ended here on Center Street in Lynn. It's where police say the suspect, 36-year-old Miguel Rodriguez, lives. Flew into a back parking lot. She will point out directly where he pulled into. Rodriguez was arrested and failed a breathalyzer two hours after the crash, charged with vehicular homicide while under the influence, leaving the scene of a deadly crash, among other things. Back on Storo. I also drive to get to the highway every morning, and I don't ever see anybody walking there. This is an extremely busy street. Confusion over why Jennings was walking along the road to begin with. I don't know where you would hope to go since there's the fence right there. Yeah, that's pretty surprising. Um, there's usually, you know, we have not seen anyone here. We've been living here for a few years. Rodriguez was released on bail. For this charge, state law requires police to see a suspect on scene themselves in order to be held without bail. That did not happen here. He will be in court on Monday. In Boston, Brandon True at WBZ News.